My name is Maeve Looney. I'm the Family Services Coordinator for Green Mountain Habitat. I'm working closely with our family selection and support committees and finding new ways to give our partner families more support throughout their partnership with us. And I'm here with... I'm Jen. I'm a home ownership outreach and medical member at the Champlain Housing Trust. Um, I work really closely with our shared equity team, which partners with our Center community. Great. Um, we're going to talk about our Hall Street triplex homes that we're currently seeking families for. Um, so it's on 28 Hall Street in Winooski. Each home has three bedrooms, one and a half baths, 1,300 square feet. Um, the home is really close to town, schools, and other amenities in Winooski, and also has a full basement. And each family will get two parking spaces in a shared gravel driveway. Utilities include natural gas heating, public sewer and water. Other amenities include a refrigerator, stove, dishwasher, and microwave. And there'll also be washer and dryer hookups as well. And the photo on the top is um, the floor plan for the main level, which includes the kitchen, living room, and half bath. And then the second level has the three bedrooms and a full bath. Okay, so the home price for the triplex, the market value of the home is reached at $350,000. And then Champlain Housing Trust investment into the home is 211000 which leaves the buyer's price to be $139,000. Um, this is distributed into a $918 monthly mortgage payment and then $666 in the new speed property taxes. And then most lenders will require you to get homeowner insurance and that would be roughly $75 a month. And then our CHT membership fee is $45 a month and that covers um, our homeowner services after you purchase the home and access to our housing counselors, um, totaling for a rough monthly cost of $1,704. And then property taxes insurance um, is subject to change over time. Um, in order to qualify for a Habitat home, you need to meet the following three criteria. The first is housing need. You can meet this if you pay more than 30% of your income on housing, if you've had trouble obtaining a conventional mortgage, or if you're currently in temporary housing or unsafe and substandard housing conditions. Um, the second criteria is your ability to pay an affordable mortgage, and our Habitat owners must earn less than 80% of the median house household income for our area. And we'll go into a graph on the income limits and that in a sec. Um, our Habitat owners will also need to obtain a mortgage through an approved lender. And then the third and final criteria is your willingness to partner with Habitat and CHT. And this just means you must be willing to perform sweat equity hours, which can either be helping build your home or other Habitat homes or volunteer at our Habitat restores. And then you must be willing to resell through CHT's shared equity program as well. So in addition to the habitat, habitat qualifications, there's some shared equity qualifications. The first one is to pay um, for closing costs, which are roughly $9,000 to $12,000 depending. Um, and then 3,000 of that must be personal savings. That includes a $2,000 deposit that we have. Um, but you can't have more than $60,000 in liquid assets, excluding retirement fund. And then the last piece of that is to attend CHT's education, which is our home buyer education, um, and then a shared equity informational meeting. And then our last qualification is you must agree to um, our shared equity program restrictions. Um, and basically those are that you must be a primary, a primary resident for the entire duration of your home ownership. And the home must be resold through the shared equity program so that we can guarantee that it goes to another income eligible buyer. So the income limits are as followed. It's 80% or under of the AMI, which is the area needing income. Um, and that's by household size. Um, so you guys can look at the chart. Um, 
there is no minimum income, but depending on lenders, they want to see certain numbers so that your income to mortgage ratio isn't so overbearing. And that's around 35. 35%. Yes. And the income will be evaluated and verified um, through our CHG <clears throat> application. And typical habitat income is roughly 50 to 80% of the published income. Um, Green Mountain Habitat's sweat equity policy is a requirement for our selected families, meaning that our partner families, again, must complete a certain number of hours, either working on your home or, again, volunteering in our, ha our, our habitat restores. So if you have one adult head of household, you're, you're required to complete a total of 200 hours. Out of those total hours, 75 hours must be completed by the head of household. And then the remaining 125 hours can be completed by other immediate family, relatives, and friends. And then if you have two or more adult head of households, um, heads of household, they're required to complete 400 total hours. And that can be split up into 150 hours completed by the heads of household and then the remaining 250 hours by other immediate family, relatives, or friends. So the next steps, um, firstly, is to submit our CHG application by October 30th, and this application needs to include all of our supporting documents. A list of these documents can be found on page three of our application, and you also get a follow-up from us. And then you must attend our education, our shared equity information meeting, and our home buyer education and counseling. And you must meet with a CHT approved lender and receive a pre-approval letter for the property. Um, so a big part of home ownership is obtaining a mortgage. And to do this, you need um, a credit score mostly above 640, stable income or employment history, um, a reasonable debt to income ratio for the mortgage and to meet with um, CHG approved lenders. Um, we also previously covered this, but you must be able to pay for closing costs. Again, three grand must be from your own personal savings. The rest can come from a gift or a closing cost loan. And our financial counselors can help you with a plan and give you access to special programs for assistance. Um, and then finally, after completing your steps with CHT, applicants will then be given a Habitat home application to fill out and return. And then once we have, re have received the complete Habitat application, the Family Selection Committee and I will review applications and meet with our applicants in their home to verify a need for housing and their willingness to partner with us. Um, and then from then, the Family Selection Committee and I will make recommendations to our board of directors who will then approve the selected families. That's it for us. If you have any questions. Yeah, this is the time to ask questions. Hopefully we have good answers for you guys.